Welcome to my studio on this freezing January day. In this video, I wanted to show you how I made collographs out of collage papers. And I also wanted to show you how I went through the entire creative process because my plate ended up being very different from how it began. So here is the print and I went through the entire process starting off with just black and white proofs and then sort of moving on to creating different prints with different colours. I wasn't really sure where I was going with it. All I knew is that I had a plate that I've created ages ago with some waste material and I wanted to do something with it. I didn't know what it was going to be. Um, so I just went through building different layers of the plate and I just wanted to show you how you can just, with no plan and no idea, just carry through and, and come up with something interesting. It's a combination of collage papers stuck um, to environment board and just using a monoprinting technique of printing on perspex. So just a combination of different techniques. Um, I'd also like to thank some shout outs from uh, some of um, the viewers of my channel who have been creating some of the holographs from my videos. I love seeing those. I think it's absolutely wonderful. And it makes me so happy that um, some of you have gone on and created your own holographs and your own prints. Um, carry on with those. I really like that. And I love seeing the progress of all your work. And again, thank you so much for watching. I've used this um, piece of plastic, which is normally used for dividing bits of food like cheese slices or lasagna sheets um, in packaging. And I used it to dab a bit of macaceous oxide on a piece of collage paper I was making. I got very excited about it and I thought, why don't I try and top iron it on on a bit of Envira mount and see what happens. So, in order to do that, I will just paint it with a bit of gloss medium at the back. You need a really generous amount. Try not to move your plastic or bit that you're painting on so it doesn't end up being on the other side. Like I just did now. Oops. Excuse for a little yelp. Um, I'm going to just give it a bit of hair drying. Just the perfect size of this bit of board that I have left over, which is great. I love when that happens. Like it was meant to be. Just waiting for my iron to get hot. Oh, that's pretty hot. I need some of my Teflon sheet. Let's do it. It might crinkle underneath a little bit, but that would be quite cool. I don't mind that. Just a bit of added texture. stuck on. There's always a, a bubble or two but it's possible yeah you can just get rid of it by pushing it out. Yeah nice. Well that could be pretty cool base for a collagraph. Uh, yeah, 
Let's see. Just had an idea about the other side being a dark side. So I'm going to spread some micaceous iron oxide. I fancy dropping in some glitter on there. I'm really into my glitter at the moment. Okay, so I'm starting with a um this sort of slightly crazy background but what i'm gonna do is i don't really have a particular plan as such i'm just going to play i want to have fun and i'm going to start building uh textures on this plate and essentially just doing runoffs print print them and just see what 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 they look like um, but I have a an assortment of tapes here uh, that I got in a craft arts and crafts shop. And what I'm going to do is I'm just um, again just going to play about. So I'm 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 just going to use the tape. This is a very smooth tape here. Um, so this will be. Um, printing very light as uh, it will be very easily wiped off so I'm going to use this one um, just to create something here and again I might obscure it it might not be just a line like this um, it will have some texture because it's a very thin tape, so it will show some texture through. But that's all right. And then, um, and then I'm going to use this other tape, which has got even a different texture from that one, like so. Hopefully it will stick. I've decided to, I've got this um, stencil, I've decided to um, create a stencil going through this part. Um, because I guess I, what I don't like about the composition at the moment, it's kind of divided into a half. Uh, it bothers me slightly, so I'm going to balance it out by creating some focal point pattern with matte extra heavy gel acrylic medium and I'm going to put it on here but also kind of do it on the other side as well just so I have a repeating pattern in my composition. I have decided to um, have a bit of fine line detail on the dark side here and I'm going to draw just an abstract image uh, using clear tar gel by Golden and a wonderful property of this clear tar gel which I uh, um, put in which I've put in this fine tip um, bottle uh, the wonderful property of this um, gel is that it um, it will wipe 
the ink off clean and it will all work also has a really good consistency for drawing lines so um i'm not really overthinking it too much i'm just going to do a sort of shape you have to be quite if you want the line to be quite fine While the, this side is drying, I'm going to apply a bit of gesso on this side. So gesso is great for printmaking because it it's got um, it's a matte medium. So it will um, if I use a brush, it will probably create uh, well, it will trap ink for sure on this against the smooth area. So just very delicate, um, gradual area here, and just somewhere to darken it against the very light background. Um, I feel like this area is lacking um, some something happening here. It's sort of a little bit bare. Um, so I've decided I've, I've got this piece of paper marker pad paper which I have applied uh, a bit of gesso white gesso to and put a bit of um, glitter on just just like here I don't know if you can see if I just move it around there's a bit of glitter on here so I thought it'd be nice to repeat this somehow on this side um, so I have this piece of paper, I've, I've obviously cut shape out here at some point. So it's basically just applied with um, palette knife with some glitter on it. Um, so I'm just going to really just cut out, I quite like this shape. Uh, so I'm going to cut out sort of a bit of a random shape out of this. Utilizing what I already have, on this side a little bit more, maybe like this. Yeah, I think I'm happy with that. So the tricky part is I'm going to use some gloss media now to stick it on. It's so it's so difficult because obviously you don't want any glue to seep out. Um, I find this all this really difficult bit to do, but um, I've got a little bit of gloss media here, so I'm just gonna brush it on. Acrylic gloss media is fantastic for gluing things on. Okay, so I let this all dry overnight. Uh, it's pretty solid. Um, and um, I'm kind of really struggling with what to do with this area because I think it's it just sort of feels unfinished. So I have um, some aluminium uh, tape um, that I, you can get from any DIY store online looks a bit like this it's a sticky tape and I have painted it with um, a bit of white paint mixed mixed with Makeshi Cyan Oxide so a bit like I was doing uh, I painted this part here and also I have dug out in my um, box of collages that I've pre-prepared a sheet with a bit of Makesha Cyan Oxide painted on it and I cut out this shape. I'm just going to glue it on here just to finish my composition. Uh, but to be fair, I just don't know how this is going to work. It could be not great. Um, 
it very much depends uh, on well I'll have to print it really to know so um, yeah it will be very interesting I think at this point of time, I really need to see how this plate prints. So in, if, if I want to progress any further with it. So I'm going to just print it in black and white. So I've got my carbon black Aqua Intaglio ink. Just gonna apply it with a bit of card. Hopefully my paper, I'm not using my best paper for this because this is just a proof, but a decent enough paper anyway. So, very interesting. I do love um, the white um, drawing with um, coal tar fluid. It looks pretty cool. Okay, so after studying a bit more my proof print, I've realised that I'm not really keen on the middle part. It sort of feel like the plate is divided in half. Um, one side doesn't really gel with the other. So one way of solving it is to use a bit of mucaceous iron oxide, which I used on this side, and kind of try to blend it all together. That's the plan. I feel like I need something to unify my composition. So these strips here were made out of um, marker pad paper and I gave them a gloss medium coat and let it dry and then painted uh, with a brush using micaceous iron oxide. 
so um i've done it a while ago and i'm going to use them as my collage uh, to sort of try to unify this design somehow i feel like it's really lacking um composition so this is my hopefully answer to how to bring it all together just added another shape here um not sure if i overdid it i'll soon find out but i have something interesting happening here this started to peel off in the heat of the hairdryer um not sure if I want it to peel off or not. Certainly interesting. So now that I'm happy with my plate, I think I'm in a good place with it. I'm happy with the composition. I've decided to apply color to my color graph um, using monotype. And I'm going to use um, Perspex, a piece of plastic, uh, to create my mono monotype. Uh, what I'm going to do is make sure it's the same size as my color graph plate. And pick my colors and take it from there. So first of all, I'm going to start with inking up for with my um, liquid fallow blue pigment i like this pigment a lot because it is transparent and very easy it's it's perfect for monotype so it's a kua liquid pi pigment and the reason why i like using it uh, to start with is because it will be very loose um so it will repel any other ink that it's got uh, that is thicker and stickier. Out of the pot, magenta seems to be quite um, thick ink. Not too thick, it's sort of semi. You can see it's repelling it quite nicely actually it's um it's good now i do want some uh black and white to show through so i'm going to carefully wipe 
some ink off. So I'm going to use my first proof print and the reason why I'm still using a proof print because I'm still not sure how I'm going to treat the colours so I don't want to waste a good print on, uh, on just trying things out. So just to soften the paper I'm going to wet it on the other side. It's not 100% dry, I've only just printed it today so I haven't, you should really wait for it to dry overnight. But, um, well, it's just a proof, so here we go, I just wetted it a little bit, and I'm just going to blot it. The print down first. And then so I'm just going to attach it now it's better to print it paper side up so I am very 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 carefully going to Turn it around, put the newsprint on top and give it a whirl. And here we go. It's very interesting. Love it. I think I'm going to stick with the design. Okay, so I uh, decided to do a new print. And I covered the plate with raw amber here on this side and Payne's Grey on this side. So I have two different colours going on as a la Pope technique. So I basically inked up separately this side and this side and just wiped it off, make sure, making sure I wasn't mixing it too much. And I've got a pre-wetted 300 GSM watercolour paper. a bit tricky to get it out because the paper's too long um but I quite like this color actually the previous print i felt with black was perhaps a little bit too dark so i think raw amber paints gray works really well um really well with this print um what i want to do now is add a third color so here's my third colour sticking a little bit better this time because paper is actually well and truly wet not just sprinkled with water like before so it does make it a difference actually okay
Okay, so I'm going to colour it again like before, but I've decided I'm going to block some bits out. So, how about this here? I think it's the most interesting one of all of them, I'd say. So just to recap, um, I have created these two color graphs uh, using collage and monoprint. And the blue one and the orange one are similar, but I think um, by doing lots of proof printing and experimentation i managed to find my sweet spot with the plate with um, using a little bit of masking with newsprint and the right color combination so um, as you can see it is well worth experimenting and just being playful not being afraid um, you are not restricted by your plate your plate can change and morph into something completely different from where you started um, so don't be afraid uh, of um, making bold movements and experimenting i hope you enjoyed this video and um, see you soon